All right, guys, the underage short chain and gold chain scammers. Guys, I think I saw this on TikTok before, but you know how we haven't seen the whole, the whole clip. Let's check it out. The stage, we're gonna be paying attention. Snap! They got the all pink Starburst. Didn't even know they had that flavor. Yeah, I swear, Hot Cheetos are in like every gas station. Doritos as well, man. Lays. <laughs> Three brands of Cheetos. To the kid in the striped shirt. Now, he just spotted the puff bar, so he's going to point him out to his brother. Now, he's really excited. He really wants a puff bar, but he's maybe 12, 13, 14 years old. Top, so he's not old enough. Now, he's going to come over here, and he's going to touch something else that he's not old enough to buy. So, of course, I tell him, don't touch that. You're not. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is when the guy actually works at the, uh. Or maybe he still works there, guys. I don't know. But yeah, I think I've seen this. I don't know if you little rascal. But we're going to react to it anyways. So after they buy a bunch of stuff from the store, they're going to make their way outside. Uh, yes. And the full grown adult role model on the right is going to... Role model, by the way. ...going to finish drinking his Sunny D that he purchased. Going to get that last swig in. He's At least he purchased it, purchased it, right, guys? Better than being robbed. This gas station has their, like, gold play button. Mounted on the wall or inside their store, bro. He's gonna screw the cap on and then he's gonna commit a criminal offense that is punishable by up to a five hundred dollar fine and sixty days in jail. Now about an hour later the <laughs> Oh my gosh. It technically is, yeah. It is guys. The striped shirt is gonna come Those aren't even recyclable where I live, man. It sucks, bro. If it was recyclable hey, that could help me out, bro. If I was, you know, damn bad, I needed cash. Back by himself. What? Please? Ah. Get ready. Please. Get ready. He asked for the ID. Please. Man, he looks like he, he's trying to just like come up and grab it, right guys? <laughs> He said, yeah, let me buy that real quick. Okay, okay. Do you have your ID? Yes, train. Give me no scared. I, I need your ID. I need to know if you're 20 or 21 or not. I'm 21. I need the ID. Hold on, Dang, bro. All for tobacco, guys? <laughs> He's in need of it, man. 66. Wait, did he say 66? No, he said like 2066, right guys? 66. Has he actually rung it up? Without the guy uh, even providing his ID, man. It's 1066. 1066, okay. I was about to say, bro. Those things are pretty cheap. They got the sonic ring sound, bro. Anyone else's gas station had that? Pretty common now, right? Nowadays, right, guys? Only the cool gas stations be having it. The hip ones. You know what I mean? Like this one. <laughs> you ready? Bro's demanding the ID, bro. Get the ID, man. You do or you don't? Then I can't sell it. Why? I need your ID. You don't? You would like? Provide the IT, brother. Come on now. Don't be lagging. Can't sell it to you without an ID. So he just tried buying a puff bar without an ID. Clearly not going to sell it to him. So he is walking around the store right now. Look at him. <laughs> he be looking at the camera so much, bro. Getting water, a Coca-Cola, and some sunflower seeds. So we now know that he has plenty of money. For he was doing his job correctly, though. And that's good. For a puff bar. He threw it down. He was like, yo, dang, bro, I need that pub bar. But he can't smoke, bro. That'd be 18. Or even 21 now. Can I buy? Yes. Then you don't have nearly enough. 775. Okay, you tomorrow, no problem. Tomorrow, you give me the money. No. You have plenty of money. Why are you lying? 
So he lies and says he only has $5, but we know that's not true. Now, he has a big fat wad of money in his hand. He's going to give me a $20 bill to pay for that stuff. And that kind of job seems so scary nowadays, guys. I can never work retail, bro. It's like a scary job. The chances of getting robbed or something, man. So many wild things be going on during a regular job, bro. <clears throat> So this kid is a short change artist at the age of 12. Now, he comes back in the next day while Jack's working. Dang, bro, he's trying to hit the same spot, bro. <laughs> I wonder where he learned it from, guys. He's trying to come up on a bag, bro. That's not cool. That's not a good way to do it. I never tried doing that before. Ever, bro. I I'll be nervous. I have social anxiety, bro. My social anxiety prevents me from doing something like this. And for good reason. So, a good evolutionary aspect to have. A, but, me, I still, like, stole from stores back then. I never tried anything like this. Not allowed in here. Not allowed in here, and you know it. You're not allowed in here, and you know it. After last night, yes. Yes. <laughs> that must be embarrassing to happen. Now, meanwhile, the driver of this kid is outside trying to scam the is, you might have nice paying customers that are out at the pumps. I don't have any cash and I'm from out of town and my card's locked and I really need some gas. So if you, if you give me some gas or some money, I'll give you my gold chain in exchange. Now, anytime somebody offers you jewelry in exchange for money or gas at a gas station, it's always fake. These kinds of people have boxes of cheapo jewelry in their vehicles to try and pull this scam. Clearly, the guy has money. I mean, he just sent the kid into the store and there's no plates on his car either, guys. The night before, he was in the store buying $20 lottery tickets. Now, luckily, the people out of the pumps were smart enough to not fall for this scam. Why are just trying to get us? She ain't falling for that <laughs> That's what we need, bro. Garbage. They're both scammers, bro. I mean, it's technically selling, though. Like, selling the gold chain for, you know, gas money, but... <laughs> oh, they're liars. Yeah, I told... I kicked the... This, this kid came people he's with them. them. Yeah. The kid came in here yesterday. He thinks it's like, let's make a deal. That's I only nice. got five. I go... Yeah, I wasn't even here. It was my nephew. He goes... Oh, uh, I was... So why he say he not from here? Like you was here yesterday. Yeah, he's a liar. They're they're con artists, bro. And that is not cool. Guys, we gotta see the comments here. He got the I'm thinking he, he's gonna give cash for one of us to use our car. He's like, no, my check says so I'm selling my chain. I said, I said, come on. You don't got no money for gas. He bro, has money. He money. Yesterday he sat there and said he. He only has five bucks. I said, how you traveling? And the guy told him who was working, well, too bad. You better put, like, you can't said, afford what you're getting then. So all of a sudden he whips out a big lot of cash. He has plenty of cash. Yeah. $20 bills, by the way. And he's like a punk kid traveling around with $20 uh, lottery ticket. a bunch of 21 year olds. I mean, he's like, he's like 12. So, moral of the story is be like this girl. She ain't falling for no scams. <laughs> He technically didn't break a crime. I mean, he tried to, though. He tried to convince a full-grown man. He, he's over 21. I like how he entertain, entertains the idea and raises it up for it. I'm 21. Yes, true. He said, get the flip out. 
Well, the kid magically doesn't understand English once the clerk has her ID. <laughs> and the dad just casually throws his bottle on the ground. <laughs> he knows this scumbag family. I wonder how much he tried to sell his uh, gold chain for. $20? $100? Yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you all for watching. Check out the original video in the description. See you guys next one. Peace out, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all my reactions live on Twitch, and I'll see you uh, later.